Hey, y'all. Okay, y'all, this is something really crazy, all right? Most of y'all already know I live in Florida, okay? I, I do not live far at all from Daytona Beach, like 20 minutes, okay? This man, what, this 21-year-old guy, okay, in Daytona yesterday threw a man off of a bridge, okay, off a Main Street bridge, and threw him into the river, which is Halifax River in Daytona Beach. All right? It's crazy. Apparently, the guy, whose name is Derek Gooden, okay, that's the guy that threw the man off the bridge. Derek Gooden was arguing with a lady over what? I don't know. But he was arguing with some lady, threw her bike over the bridge, okay? This other guy tries to come and, you know, like, you know, step in and, you know, try to calm the situation down when he gets punched in the face and thrown into the river over the bridge. A 30, it's a 30 foot drop. Okay. He's alive. He's, he didn't die. He's alive and he's okay. All right. Which is crazy. That's a miracle. I mean, I remember back in the day, people jumping off of this bridge. Like, I mean, I remember one day I was, one night I was riding over the bridge and there was a man standing over it. A lot of people used to jump over this bridge to try to, um, you know, try to die. Well, anyways, okay, the really crazy thing is this, okay, see this video that I'm about to show y'all. Okay, I'm going to show y'all the video. But right here, you can see this. This is a cop. He is in his car. He just happened to be riding down the road and saw this guy throw the man over the bridge. And if you look right here, you can see where he's got his arm, you know, over something or whatever. And it looks like this is like, you know, I guess like the head or something of the person that he threw over. He threw the man over face, face first into the river. Okay. So I'll read the article to y'all in a second, but I'm going to show y'all this video. Well, you know what? Now, nah, here, we'll read it because quick. It says a 21-year-old Daytona Beach man was arrested Sunday. Oh, okay, so it happened Sunday. I don't know why I thought it happened yesterday. On allegations of throwing another man off the Main Street Bridge during a fight. Derek Gooden was arrested on charges of aggravated battery that could cause bodily harm, battery, and disorderly conduct. Daytona Beach police said Gooden got into an argument with a woman and the other man intervened. After throwing the woman's bike over the bridge, Gooden punched a man in the face and threw him off the bridge too. The man survived the 30-foot fall and swam to a nearby rowboat where he was picked up by a good Samaritan. A police officer driving by witnessed the incident and ordered Gooden to the ground at gunpoint. The victims did not want to press charges, but Gooden was arrested because throwing someone into the water from the bridge could have prompted a serious injury or a fatal fatality. The officer noted that there are multiple pylons and maintenance catwalks under the bridge. Okay, so we're going to show, I'm going to play both of these videos, okay? This one right here, I watched most of. This one, I haven't watched any of. I wonder if this is the same thing. Let me just, yes, yeah, the same exact video. Okay, same time and all. Okay, so... Before I play this video, I do want to let y'all know that, you know, there is, you know, some language in here. You know, a lot of foul language. So, if you don't like that, please, you know, if it offends you in any type of way, don't listen to it. Okay? But what I want to show y'all is, it's crazy how these cops, okay? And I've seen Daytona Beach Police in action. They are some nasty Nasty police officers, okay? I mean, I believe me, that guy that threw the man over the bridge, yes, he was in the wrong. He was dead wrong for that. He shouldn't have thrown the guy over the bridge, okay? I completely agree with that. But I'm going to show y'all this video, and then we'll talk about how things are handled afterwards. So here goes. Adventure awaits. While that's playing, I'm gonna just mute that Inside advertisement out. Get on board with lower auto payments with rates as low as 2.15% APR. It's Qualified just crazy how they handle this man. Certificate for two. So I want y'all to look, you know, maybe, and save I don't know, maybe I'm looking at it too much, but um, 
I just think this, you know, there's a right and a wrong way to go about everything. So, this part right here is quiet because he's just riding in the car. But when he gets out, you're going to hear, you'll hear everything. Okay, right now he's he's going over the bridge right now. Oh, y'all see if he had to put his arm. Dang, okay, yeah, you just. Main Street Bridge. Got a male throwing another male over the bridge. I got one. I got point. He said, "Jump over the bridge." Come on, man. Come on, man. On the ground. Get on your belly right now. Get on your belly right now. Get on your belly right now. On your Okay, I'm going to pause this real quick, okay? So I'm assuming that he's sitting there saying somebody's calling him the N-word and this, that, and that, asking if that's the Aryan Brotherhood and all this stuff. So I'm assuming he's talking to the lady, okay? So, you know, somewhere within that argument, there must have been some racial slurs said, and I'm assuming that that's what got the guy so irate, okay? So here, I'm just going to go ahead and continue this. And then when I come up, he's going to he's gonna get charged with destruction of evidence, too, because he just threw a bunch of shit into the water as soon as I told him. But what are you charging him with, dog? I'm charging him with attempted murder, motherfucker. There was something there, you're going to have to do. Hey, excuse me, sir. In front of me, why are you not talking to him? Do you think that's the witness closing the street with I'm going to pause this one more time. Okay, you see what they're doing, right? The dude never said nothing about throwing weed over the bridge. 
He said he threw his money over the bridge, and he's basically asking them, like, what do you think? You think I got weed on me or something? And then the cop tries to turn around, oh, you just said you threw weed over the bridge. The guy never said that. Pay attention.
He's saying that he jumped over the bridge, but I just clearly saw that, and they're saying it's something over a bike. I did see a bike go over the bridge before I was pulling up, and that's what made me look at him, and then there was a fist fight, and then I saw the dude get thrown over the bridge. I have, I have a story. What's going on? Um, 1015 was arguing with her because he's out of his mind, says that she owes him money, slaps her in the face, starts attacking her, guy that took a dip starts defending her, they get into a match, and then he goes over to Right. There was a bike at one point that went over. Only if you're well. She's in the car, Chris. Hi, thank you, man. I know her. Right. She's a method. She's nice, though. She's a nice lady. Okay. Did y'all just hear what he just said? They were talking about the lady. And he said, oh, I know her. She's a meth head. Okay. Now, I know how Daytona is. All right. I know Daytona like the back of my hand. And just like everywhere, there's tons of drugs everywhere. But I swear. I mean, I don't know if it's just because I live here and I see it all the time. Man, it seems like it's just crawling with, you know, addictions, okay, I mean, it is, it's bad, and, you know, I kind of figured that, you know, this might have been what it was, like, something that had to do with drugs, they said that the dude owed her money, so, I don't know, it could have been, like, who knows, who know? who in the heck knows what all the argument was about, but apparently, the guy, Derek, the one that threw the man off the bridge and did all of that, he owed the lady money. So they got into an argument over that. And then he threw her bike over the bridge and then, you know, it just went, spiraled out of control. Okay. But I did want to point that out, though. You heard what the cop say. He said, oh, I know her. She's a meth head, which I could kind of, you know, see that by looking. Okay. So here's this. Like, since I'm sitting next to him, I get half the transmission. I'm like, God, I'm over the bridge. At that point. Hey, we got a... Uh Okay, let me pause that. Okay, so I wanted to show y'all that, and you know, I want y'all want to know y'all's comments. Okay, I want y'all's feedback on this video. Let me know if y'all think that things could have been handled differently, as far as you know, the police and the suspect or the guy. And you say he's a suspect. I mean, it's clear as day he did something. Okay, um. You know, I just, I don't know. I don't like how some cops, okay, like I've said before, you know, it's not all, I can't put all of them in a category. You know, you can't, you can't throw everybody in the same category, okay? But a lot of police, okay, what well, the ones that we see on, you know, through the media and stuff, I mean, we see that, you know, there is a lot of bad cops out here, okay? who do not handle situations properly. I mean, I know what I saw. I mean, it's, I mean, yes, the guy threw the man off a bridge or whatever. Okay, and I understand that. But I didn't see any weapons. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, is that protocol? I mean, I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong. Because I do not know what, you know, what an officer, you know, I don't know everything, every single thing that they're supposed to do, you know, or not supposed to do. You know, when they're 
you know, when they're uh, faced with a situation. But, I mean, this man jumped out the car. He's got a gun. You know, he's got the gun at, I mean, pointed at that guy so much. Let me fast forward to this a little bit. Let me just... I'm not going to play the uh, audio. Okay, he gets out the car. He's got the gun. The guy's standing there. Yeah, she's coming towards him. But very clearly, he has no weapon at all. Okay? No weapon. He still has this gun pointed at him. And then, you know, the guy, I mean, he sits, he cooperates. He sits down. He still got the gun pointed on. Point it right at his head now. At his head. See, this is what I don't like. Things like this. I don't like that because this is how you know things escalate into other issues. This is how police brutality comes in. This is how a lot of killings happen by the police. I mean, he has got this gun pointed at this man's head. Is that necessary? When he is an unarmed man, is that necessary? I don't think so. He says jump over the bridge. The guy still clearly has no weapon. On the ground, get on your belly right now. Get on your belly right now. Get on your belly right now. Okay, throw his wallet over the arm bridge. He, he probably nine times out of ten had something in that wallet, okay? Probably has some drugs or something in that wallet. And I don't know if it was a wallet. Um, He said he threw his wallet over. Well, you know, why would you throw your wallet over the bridge? You know, I could understand, you know, maybe if he didn't want them to know who he was. But, dude, you just threw somebody over a bridge. You're going to jail. They're going to fingerprint you. And I, this is his mugshot. This is his mugshot right here from the other day. Okay, he is charged with disorderly conduct, aggravated battery, aggravated battery with bodily harm, and uh, battery. Okay, but he's been arrested multiple times. So he's already in the system. He's already in the system. So there would be no reason for him to throw his wallet over the um, bridge, especially if there's money in it. I don't care if it's six dollars. You gonna throw your all your money over the bridge? Who throws money into the water? And what would be the purpose of that? Oh, I'm going to jail. Let me throw my money. No, you. If you're going to jail, you gonna need that six dollars. So that's a lie. Okay. He must have had something um in that wallet or whatever it was he threw over the bridge. He had something in there, and that's why he tossed it because he didn't want another charge. That's what that is. Okay. But regardless of all of that, I mean, this guy just, okay, he handcuffs him. And then watch, he holds this guy by his neck. You know, he tries to twist his words around saying he threw weed in the water. The guy's never said that. He starts holding the, man, the guy's neck. Then when they're putting him in the car, the body cam just happens to, you know, get all messed up on the man's shirt or whatever. The guy keeps asking can I please step in? Can I please step in the car? You know, he wants to step in by himself. He wants to get in the car by himself because they like to just shove people in the car. That's what they do. You got handcuffs on and they shove you in there. And next thing you know, your wrists are broken or whatever. They don't care. And I can tell you right now, as long as I lived in Daytona Beach, I've never encountered... Not one police officer, okay, and I dealt with a lot of police officers um, when I lived in Daytona, okay, not because I was in trouble. I mean, I've gotten pulled over. I've gotten, yeah, I've gotten pulled over plenty of times in Daytona, and every single one of those situations never turned out good, never went in my favor. They never said, oh, okay, I'm going to give you a warning, slow down. No. Oh, this is what you want to do? Oh, you're going... You know, it doesn't even have to be that much over the speed limit. You were getting pulled and you are getting a ticket. Okay, you're getting a ticket. They don't care. I've, and, you know, and not just me getting pulled over a few times. I 
was in a very abusive situation, which I have stated in a couple videos, okay? I was in a very abusive situation, um, relationship, life and death series, okay? It was like a life and death situation. I had called the police multiple times trying to get help, trying to do what I needed to do. What did they do? Nothing. And it almost cost me my life. Okay? Each time that they didn't do anything. Got to the point where I said, you know what? If I'm going to die, I'm going to die. I'm going to die whether I call the police or not. You know, but why keep calling if they're not going to do anything and it makes it worse? You know? So, I'm telling you. Daytona Beach Police, are they're nasty. They're very... <laughs> Very rude, okay? And another thing I want to point out. Yeah, I know the guy threw a, a man over a bridge, okay? Once again, I understand that. Okay? And I understand that people have the right to talk however they choose. All right? You have the freedom of speech. Supposed to be. But we really don't. But, you know, there is a, a time and place for everything. There's a way to handle yourself when you're on and off the clock. I don't care if you are a police officer and you suppose you know you have this authority over your city or whatever. I don't care about that. Why does that give you the right to talk to people any type of way? It doesn't. You know, you have to get you have to give respect to get respect in return. You know, and that's something that you earn. And that is, this is why just the actions that are on this 10 minute video, those actions right there, that these are the reasons why a lot of people don't respect police officers because they see so many of them being so disrespectful to other people. Okay. Especially people of color. And that goes for anybody that ain't white. Okay? That ain't white or, you know, looks white. You know, white enough for them to, you know, not do all that too. And it's so sad, you know, how out of control things have gotten over the years. It is absolutely insane. But... I mean, this right here, this is crazy. I know it probably caught that man off guard because this is not something that you just see every day. And it just so happened that the police officer was riding, you know, across the bridge and just happened to see this. Got it on camera. The man throwing another guy off a bridge. What are the chances of that happening? You know? So I can understand him being shocked, you know, and being like, whoa, you know, like, what's going on? I understand, you know, quick reactions. I do understand that. But, I mean, they're talking to this man like he is a pure dog. Okay? And once again, I'm not taking up for the guy. I'm not taking up for him. I'm not taking up for none of them. I'm not taking up for this lady right here, for the guy that got thrown off the bridge, or for the guy that threw the man off the bridge. Because the whole situation got out of control and everything went wrong and it's ridiculous. Okay, so I am not taking up for anybody on anything that happened with that. But how the police treated this guy, I don't really think that was, you know, necessary. I mean, they, they're very rough in Daytona. I mean, rough, you know. And I mean, I could get into, you know, certain situations that I've witnessed. You know, or even just situations that I've been in when I was young, you know, and got pulled over by the police. And they did things that they shouldn't have done, but I didn't know. I mean, I was a young girl, and I didn't know. I was scared, you know. So, But I'm not going to get into that right now. But they're very, um, very nasty police officers. So, y'all, leave your comments and uh, feedback below. If y'all like to send me anything... Please uh, send it to my email, or you can add me on Facebook, and you can send whatever you like through there. The links for those are down below. If y'all have not subscribed to my other channel, please click on the link down below, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. 
Until the next time I talk to y'all, I love y'all, and y'all have a wonderful night. Thank you.